Hi guys and girls, I'm Reef Ben, and today I wanted to tell you about my radions, how far I have them away from the top of the water, and the par that you can get with radions. I tested under my Gen 4 Pro radions. I have two of them here in the center of my tank, and then on either side I have Gen 3 Pros um, to fill in the rest of the tank. Um, I bought the setup when I had uh, well, when Gen 4s weren't a thing, and so I have a mix of the two varieties. To test this, I used my USB Apogee SQ520 meter. Um, you may be able to see it still in the tank here. What I did was measure, uh, see I measured a foot down from the tank. So we have a blue painter's tape line. I measured at the surface of the water which is eight inches down from the radions. I measured 12 inches down from that, halfway down my tank. And then I measured at the sand, which is about 24, 23, 24 inches down from the surface of the water. So um, as a reference point, here in North America, in Los Angeles, in um, late winter, the noonday sun outside was 2,400 par. So that could be a reference point for us. At the surface of the water, directly underneath the fan of my Gen 4 Radeon Pro, was 1,130 par. That is eight inches down below centered between the two LED clusters. Down from that 12 inches, where the blue line is on my tank, was 438 par. So at the two ends of my tank, it's going to be a little bit less because they're the Gen 3 Pros. In the center of my tank, 438 par, directly underneath that radion. 24 inches down at the sand, directly underneath that radion, was 319 par. So if you have a Gen 4 Radeon and you set it to 72% intensity, what you can expect 24 inches down directly from your light is about 319 par, measured with an Apogee SQ520 USB quantum sensor um, set to immersion mode. I do run my tank lights from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And there's an hour ramp up and ramp down there. So from noon to seven, my radions are at 72% intensity for that entire time. I don't do anything special uh, with the lights. It's just a straight ramp up from zero, 72% straight ramp down. I have almost all the channels at 100%. Um, let's see, I'll uh, actually just check this right here. Pardon the focus, which is not going to be right, but um, we we'll just get it and then I'll get back in focus for you. So my actual Radeon setup, um, as defined by EcoSmart Live, I've got the ultraviolet, the violet, the deep blue, and the blue all at 100. And then I've got the white, yellow, green, and red at 24%. It's done really well for me. My SPS grows really well. My LPS grows really well. It doesn't bleach anything out. Um, I've been really happy with it. Just as a aside, uh, EcoSmart is telling me it's t pulling 646 watts right now um, for my light setup at 72%. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know if you have any other questions about the PAR that you can get from a Radeon. I didn't turn off my other lights to test this, so this would be um, slightly reduced if you only had a single Radeon, um, but I did do the light directly, or the, the measurement directly underneath a single Radeon where the other ones are not really that close to it. My center lights are spread out from my other lights, so this should be a minimum of, um, of actual interference from other lights. Yeah, so let me know if you have any questions. I think I've already said that, but hope it was interesting, and I'll see you next time. Bye.